Seymour, did he send out the order for Miss Shiva? Miss Shiva? Mrs. Shiva. Mrs. Shiva. Oh, I forgot! You forgot! How can you forget such an important order like that? A big, enormous family and dropping off like flies. I'm telling you, Clubbone, if we lose them over this, you are finished! You know, Seymour, I think sometimes Mr. Mushnik is a little too hard on you. Oh, I don't mind, Audrey. After all, I owe him everything. He took me out of home skit row home for boys when I was just a little tyke. Gave me a warm place to sleep, like uh, under, under the counter. Nice food to eat, like meatloaf and water. Floors to sweep, toilets to clean, and every other Sunday off. You know, I think you ought to raise your expectations a little. Now that we're getting successful, I mean. Why don't you start with some new clothes? No offense, but what with all the photo shoots and interviews, a big, important experimental botanist has got to look the part. I don't know, Audrey. I'm a very bad shopper. I don't have a good taste like you do. Well, I could help you pick things out. Y you could? Sure. You go out with me? Sure. You'd be seen in public places like department store with me? Sure. Tonight? I can't tonight. I have a date. But maybe another time? Sure. Sure, I'll pencil you in. I bet you got a lot of dates now, huh? Not dates, exactly. A lot of gardening clubs been calling me, asking me to give lectures. Gee. Imagine me giving lectures. I haven't even finished grade school yet. That doesn't matter. You have life experience. Some experience? I don't even know how, what it feels like to fly in a plane. Me neither. Or have a fancy dinner at Hunting's. Me neither. Or ride a motorcycle? Oh, it's no big deal. Besides, it's dangerous. It is? Very dangerous. Gee, my date will be here any minute. I better go fix my face. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Which way to 1313, Skid Row? I'm afraid that information will cost you a dollar. Hey, no problem. Here you go. It's right over there. But if you're like the thousands of others flocking down to see the Audrey 2, you better come back tomorrow, man. This shop is closed. Ooh, took his dollar. <laughs> Not here to buy posies, girls. I'm here to pick on my date. Your date? You and my Annie Claire talking about a girl with a black eye. And several other medical problems. As a matter of fact. That's hey! him! That's 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 him! Whoa, whoa, ladies. I'm friendly. Choose. Pass him. Wait, let me see. You want some nitrous oxide? What you lost, the Taz brains? The last thing Audrey needs more of your kind. Well, my kind is a very nice kind, ladies. I'm not a monster. What else would you call it? I would call it... <laughs> I would call it an occupational hazard. Say what? You see, girls, my line of work requires a, a certain fascination with human pain and suffering. <laughs> this stuff is great. When I was younger, just a bad little kid. My mama noticed funny things I did. Like shooting puppies with a BB gun. I pose in guppies, and when I was done, I find a pussy cat and bash it in its head. And that's what my mama said. What did she say? She said, my boy, I think someday you'll find a way to make your natural tendencies pay. You'll be a dead and tears. I will tell them for causing things pain. Hey! Some be a dead and tears. Some be a dead and tears.
day you to be inhumane. Inhumane! To temperament wrong for the priesthood. And teaching was such a still less. Some be a dead and tears. You'll be a success. Period, girl, the leader of the class. Here I come, I am your dad and to his And I enjoy the career I think I am your dad and to his And I get off on the pain I quit really love it. When I start extracting your morals You girls will be screaming like Holy Roller And though it may cause my patience distress Somewhere, somewhere in heaven above me I know, I know my mama's proud of me Now I'm a dead and teased And a success Say ah oh. Say ah oh. Say ah oh. Now spit Hey, how you doing? Fine, thank you. But the shop's closed. I'm not here to shop. I'm here to... Hey, this must be that plant they're talking about. What you call it? An Audrey too? Cute name. Catchy. Nice plant. Big. Oh, thank you. I, I raised it myself. Well, but I my cured some kind of new species or something. That's what they tell me. But I'm afraid you should leave right now. It's okay, Seymour. This is my boyfriend, Oren Scrivello. DDS. I'll tell you something, kid. You say you raised this thing, right? Right. Well, if I were you, I sure as hell wouldn't keep it under a barrel down in a skid row dump like this. This avocado here could be a ticket to the stars. Uh, Take it to any floor shop in town and name a prize. Hell, somebody make you a goddamn partner to get their hands on this. I don't care. I'm happy here. Seymour's very loyal. Somebody talking to you? Uh, oh, excuse me. No. Ex excuse me what? Excuse me, doctor. That's better. Well, I'll tell you, kid. This thing right here is a big green gold mine. So get your ass out of this dump and take the plan with you. I mean, Mushnik's skid row for it. <laughs> It's like a joke. You hear me talking? I hear you. He hears him. Uh, shouldn't we be leaving now? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, doctor. <clears throat> you got a train of mess, stuh. Well, my bike's outside, double parked. But you think about what I said, kid. I mean it. You think about it. Sh sure, sure. I'll think about it. He'll think about it. You do that. Okay, Audrey, got the handcuffs? They're right in my bag. Let's go. You think about it. You think about it. I don't like that guy, Mr. Mushnik. You should hear the way he talks to Audrey. God and him alone, the kid just said he'd mull it over. No wonder she's so unhealthy. It's enough to make you sick. If he loved me. If Seymour left me, why then I be right back where I started, which was broken, starving. Good and nice and beautiful she is. She deserves a prison house of this creep like him. Close to bankrupt. What a louse. Be said, be fuddled and bereft. That's where I'd be if Seymour left. He's a disgrace to the dental profession. Seymour! Sir? Seymour! How would you like? to be my son. 
How would you like to be my own adopted boy? Maybe I choose for the kind of guy that's in the door of the future I'm going to say yes of course So I want to be your dad I want to see you climbing up my family tree I used to think you loved the chance but now I see that you're a man So I'm proposing to be my son Boy, snake and son Sounds great Three words with the ring of faith So I say you incorporate with me Our glorious dream come true Push Nick and his boy chick you What business will do for F D D How about this evil be my son? Just say the words I'll have my lawyer on the phone Now Mr. Mushnik don't be right you always said that I was trying Oh I was joking I'm joking Do the physical expression of my pride of the street But on the mushy guys I have been talking you go ahead and say it, Seymour. Tell me that you will. I really liked you, but. I'll hold my breath until... <laughs> okay, okay, I'll be your son! Who else will you be my son? Who? And someday when you're 83, I'll let you come and live with me! You swear? I promise! What a son! Bush, snake and son! That's that! Officially, I'm your bride! Consider the matter close and done. Now to the world, let's stick our senior and junior stick. Too thin and too thick, too sloppy and slick. Now come kiss me quick. Please don't make me sick. Push me. His son! I'm his son! Sudden changes surround me Lady Luck came and found me Thanks a million for making the magic you do Thanks to you sweet Petunia Mushnik's taken a junior and someday when I hold this whole shop, I know I owe it to you. Who cares if I've been in the meaning side past few weeks? So what if I had a few dizzy spells, a little lightheadedness? It's been worth it, old pal. Tui, I'm a little hungry. I'll run down this Mendrix and I'll have a bite deep. See you later. Oh, look, oh boy, here we go again. Look, I haven't got any much more left. Maybe I can get a little bit out of this one, but...